It's like the dead zone for television. It's when uh, nobody watches TV, so they don't put anything good on. Boy, it used to be true. There used to be nothing but reruns, and all of a sudden, man, has that changed. Hmm. It, the, the first big change, of course, was in 2000, when all of a sudden they started to put on, in, in a two-year stretch, Survivor, American Idol, and Big Brother all debuted in the summer, got huge ratings, and then for quite a while it, it started to change, and pretty soon you could find reality shows on the networks, and then all of a sudden scripted dramas like Monk and so forth on the cable shows. So that was interesting. But now comes the next step when the networks realize that they can put on scripted shows in the summer too. One of the top two or three highest rated shows of all last season was The Dome on CBS in the summer. Is that even yeah. still on anymore? Well, the second one is going is to it? open in about two weeks. There's people fact, living under a, in a terrarium. Under a dome. They're, si they're sitting there in, in their city when all of a sudden one day they wake up and there's an enormous dome over the entire city, and nobody knows why, okay? Mm. And, uh, and the second season, they're going to have, in case you missed the first season, which obviously you did, okay? <laughs> I remember the concept. <laughs> okay. They're going to have a special hour this coming Monday in which they tell you, review everything that happened the first oh, season. Okay. Then a week from Monday, up. the new season starts, and CBS also has another show called Extant, starring Ali Berry, the Oscar winner, no, no less. And that's going to be a, a CBS show in the summer. So the, the, the real networks have some scripted summer shows. They have a lot of reality shows. And then, boy, oh, boy, the, the, the cable network's just full of them this time. I mean, would you re believe that there are six shows having either, either their premiere or their, se or their season premiere this Sunday alone? No. Yeah, I mean, I mean the, the, all of a sudden, this summer is so full of not reruns that you begin to cherish the occasional rerun. Only a good show gets a rerun in the summer, like Big Bang Theory, which is a great show. That one gets to have reruns in the summer. Hmm. But, boy, it's surprising how much new, new stuff there is. Do you think that, by the way, were they allowed to leave the Dome, or did they have to stay in it? They are, they're stuck in there. Prisoners. That's, this, this is a problem, definitely. They yeah. tried to dig underneath it. They tried to explode it. They're going to try all over again this year. Hmm. Um, do you think that the World Cup will get ratings? No, I still don't. Uh, really? And I still don't think anybody ever scores. I think uh, I think if, if if you want something to happen, <laughs> got to score some points somehow. There, you know. I look at it. You look at everything they do. You look at it, and it's still soccer. Let's t let's take a little focus group here of young okay. people. Morgan <laughs> Hall is, uh, I don't know, twenty six. Yep. 26. Uh, is, there, is there an appointment television show that you have to see every week? What do you watch? Well, I, I'm really, this summer, I'm really looking forward to Boardwalk Empire. And I watch a lot of the Netflix, so that's on my own time. She doesn't seem like a Boardwalk Empire uh, target audience. No, no, that's, that's no? interesting for that. One of the problems is it's, it's quite a little too old for that. And, and incidentally, it, it, won't, it won't be back till September. So you got, oh, it's you September. Got a slow I thought it was coming. this summer. No, this summer is uh, True Blood instead. True Blood oh, okay. in that same spot, which incidentally opens Sunday. And that is what the young kids are watching. So you got to go chat with the young kids these days and I find, find out, out what they're what's watching. Hip. Yeah. True, True Blood, 9 o'clock this Sunday, season premiere. Okay. Hey, when to, uh, are we going to get another season of Newsroom or is it over? Final season, coming later this summer. And you, you know my feeling. That's one of the great shows on television. I just think it's super. Jeff Daniels from Chelsea uh, stars in it, brilliantly written. Uh, Jane Fonda, who just last week got her uh, Lifetime Achievement Award uh, in a little bit, bit role. I, I think it's a wonderful show. But it's... Um... They did what? Only three seasons. Yeah, only it did not do well in the ratings. Uh, huh. I I'm not sure why. It's an HBO show, though, of course. It's, yeah, it's HBO. HBO doesn't get serious about ratings. They had that one show about um, uh, it, set in New Orleans. I don't think anybody watched, and they <laughs> left it on for three years. But oh, I don't uh, even remember what that is. But, yeah, but this was an expense. Treme it was called, and and this is an expensive show, and they decided one more final season. But I'm looking forward to it. It's a great show. First of all, True Blood opens, then uh, Treme will follow it on Sunday night. Is that a vampire show, True Blood? Uh, yeah, and, and many other things. Vampires and werewolves and sh shift changers and pretty much anything else you want. It, it all happens. Let's face it, that's what's been biggest on TV. Uh, remember, the biggest ratings of the year was Walking Dead about zombies. So mm -hmm. um, you and I might like it occasionally when people are, uh, are, are, are just totally alive and stay that way. But uh, TV's been hot now with, with, with other things, uh, <laughs> including The Return, which I thought was a great show on cable in which uh, the, a bunch of dead people just casually walk back into the house four years later.